are more important than kids. When he gave lectures, sympathetic Rose would often serve vegetarian meals in his honor. So in a way, he says, I do a favor for the chickens. man and forms his brain, there must be something of the divine in man's ideas about God, even if they are far from being adequate. restaurant on 72nd Street and Broadway for 20 years, but I never read any of his books. He liked the simple place. He almost always had the 550 lunch special and the soup of the day. In 1978, he won the, he won the Nobel Prize, which was worth about $165,000 in cash. Isaac, I said, has a bad a bigger tip. Does heart lose meat, he says to me. That means my heart's not used to it. I was his translator. His pocketbook would allow him to have a better meal, but he couldn't do it. As if he was still a struggling writer. It was in his bones. He came from a poor family in Poland. I was a doorman. The walk we began every morning as he paced 30 to 60 blocks around the courtyard, waiting for his wife, Mama, to come down and join him for breakfast. <laughs> so many emotions, and such strong ones. Every human being, even if he is an idiot, is a millionaire in emotion. Oh, should we write a story on that? <laughs> 
was visiting me in my home and he asked to see a room he had heard was haunted. People who never believe in ghosts are always hearing them, he says, and those of us who do, never do. I was impressed. I remember his concern for animals. Once when we were driving, he rose up and said, fuh, 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 fuh. He threw away the crow he was afraid would be run over by my car. <laughs> I see we're getting quite a few new customers today, he'd say. <laughs> God has given me so many fantasies. And my problem is not how to get them, but how to get rid of them. All my life, my imagination has been overstimulated by life itself. Thank you.